<laughs> so yesterday you were telling me a couple of things. So tell me a little bit about what it is that you want to change one by one. Um, can you go up, up, up? Yep. Um, sorry, down. Yeah, up, down. All right, so right there on the first one where your mouse is. So you have um you have the posts on the edges. Um, typically I like to drop beam that so it picks up all the joists. So I like the cantilever on the left and right in about a foot and a half, and then I can't leave it from the front, usually about a foot and a half in. All right. So what you're saying is one, we gotta move this guy. Two, yep. we got it, we gotta have so it's gonna move like here. Yeah, because also there's there's a tube in the ground right there. So I'm trying to push it over as much as I can so I don't have to take it out. So from here to the edge, it's gonna be 1.5 feet. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we should be all right. And then you you uh, but then we also do need to put a beam here, right? Yeah, we're gonna put a beam going the length, you know, the yep, got it. So that's gonna be that it's gonna have a beam going that way. You're gonna kind of leave it a foot and a half. Same yeah. same idea in both ends. Yep. Is that what it is? Yep, to match. Okay. And then to push it in a little bit so it's not right on the edge of the rim joist. So do like a foot in or whatever. So this will also be a foot and a half, right? Yeah. Okay. And then the um, drop beam itself, push that towards the building a little bit. Just so it's not right on the edge. I mean, th there's going to have to be something like a nailer here, but um, what do you mean this this beam? This beam? No, like a, a drop beam going across to pick up all those joists. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're going to have something in here? Yeah. So I, dro I drop beam those for two main reasons. The first reason is that I don't have to be so precise with my tubes. I can move the beam like an inch here and an inch there. Right, and then the Hold other. On. So it's the, if I understand it correctly, uh, you put a beam in the middle of this right here, a drop beam. Yeah, but it's towards the edge. I mean, you're gonna have one here. Yes. Yeah, that's true. You're gonna have one here. Yeah, that that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that so just I, all I of that's gonna move one and a half also, right on that yeah. edge. Yep. I like to cantilever it in case my tubes are off by a little bit. I have some room to play with. I don't I mean? know if we can cantilever this way. I think we can cantilever this way because... No, that's, no that, that's that's the way I'm talking about. Okay, okay, got so it. Off the front, that's what... Um... Okay, so column one, column line one moves one and a half feet from the edge. Okay, yeah, I, so I, yeah. now I get it. Now I get yeah. it. It, it just it helps me a lot. So like anytime I send you a B, anytime I send you a deck, that's okay. what it's kind of what I want. So honestly, we don't even have to go too far. I was actually like trying to. Um, yeah, I get it. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to do it right now. So okay. that guy moves 1.5 feet. That way. Oh, he didn't let it. But, oh, come on. 1.5 feet. I wouldn't have to bother Julio for these kinds of things. Well, it could, it could be one foot too. It doesn't have to be exactly. It's just enough to get away from the band joist. Uh, yeah, I know what's happening. This model, that's something you don't you, you don't have to understand. It's like software problems right now, so I couldn't move it because of that. So I'll fix it right now. Just give me one second. Yeah, take, right it take your time, man. Um, you're going to get some instant gratification because I know you have been having a hard time getting to me to talk to me. I'm sorry about that. I'm typically, you know me. I'm always on top of things. I owe Mr. Uh, uh, Tony also. I, Tony, I owe him some contracts. But um, it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. And, you know, and everything comes at the same time. You know how it is. It's not like... I, I understand. I mean, I haven't, I haven't like, been upset or anything. I just... Uh, the one with the... Um, with Methuen took a long time. I just lost another... I just lost another job. I was going to have you go and do a design. This guy wanted to remove... His two bathrooms were joining together. We were going to go in there and remove the wall remove both bathrooms, build him a new bathroom designed, then design a bathroom in the in the um, basement. Bless you. And then um, he took four weeks to send me an estimate. And uh, the guy called me and canceled the job because he took too long. So I'm trying to avoid that. That was like a $60,000 job I just lost. So... <laughs>
No, um, I get it. I get it. It happens. You can't no, you can't it catch it you can't catch them all, fortunately. Fortunately, it's just very unfortunate. But um Well, this this is still like my second year, like having a legitimate business with workers' comp liability and you know, really advertising. So <clears throat> it is what it is. You only you're only gonna get better at it. That's a good thing. It's only gonna get better for you. Um, you just have to learn from your mistakes. I saw this guy on YouTube that did a, like, he's a trader. Like, he trades stocks and commodities and shit like that. But he did, like, a year review. And that was cool. Like, he sat down and he was like, here's what I did wrong last year. Here's what I did wrong this year. Here's what I should have done. And I was like, mm, I don't think a lot of people meditate on the shit that they've done fucked up, that they haven't fixed, that they haven't done right. So that, that, that's the recipe for growth, to be able to look at things and say, you know what? I have to grow. I have to learn. This was wrong. Um, so, you know, I'm learning a lot myself. Um, and one thing I'm prioritizing right now, Jeremy, is health. Uh, my health is very important. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you know, I imagine your job's pretty stressful like mine is. And uh, that's, that's what I, mean. I, have it, I have advocate for taking vacations, taking time off. Like, usually in July, we take like a week off because... I mean, it's it's, it's not even it's not even about that um because okay you take you take a week off actually you say it doesn't have to be by the way uh one foot it could be uh, one foot six it could be one foot right yeah it could be one foot uh one foot, 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 foot fine all right so I'm moving that there great um now where's my railing I need another railing here right I need a railing right there. Yeah, so in that design, you see right see, that's what I was talking about. You see where it's the um the left side uh railing is going into the ground. Where you right where your cursor is. <laughs> see see the, the bottom of the step. I mean, we kind of <laughs> we kind of need to do something though, because um it has to follow you. Um I mean this is your handrail, so that's good. This one will be your handrail, I guess. But right, but I mean, res residential decks. I've never had to put that extra piece. It's always landed on the bottom step. No, this is not residential. Um, this has to kind of follow you down. Um, but I think I get your point. So you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. What you said, I don't mind it. I'll take it down. But technically, technically, um, it has to follow you. But because this one follows you around, and you can just. Hold on to it, so that's fine. You got to put one on the wall. That's fine. I do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, because so you, you need you need a handrail. One thing is a handrail, another thing is a guardrail. So um, so that's that. All right. Is so that, that, is that is that a commercial thing? Is yeah, accessibility related? Yes, it's commercial. Yes, it's okay. A commercial. All right. Still learning on commercial, but <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's okay. So on that said, um, now we're gonna put. Let me just model real quick. Uh, um, so I shouldn't have to use Bigfoots on this. I should just be able to use a 12 um, inch sauna tube, right? Um, it's a means of egress. And you don't just, yeah, you can use 12 inch uh, sauna tubes. Just make sure you go up uh, to the frost. This is a means of egress. Otherwise, like, you know, they sell this little, uh, Hold on, let me just make sure I get this right. Yeah. Generic model is fine. Yeah. All right, let me just pick this plane. So, why, what did I size for these members? What was it? What were we using? Um, you should be around a two by ten. I mean, it's a relatively small. So that's the choice of two by ten. So I can. Do two by twelves for the beam if you want. Yeah. It's kind of funny looking. It's gonna be kind of funny looking because it's gonna be something like this. Right, but the the posts go underneath that. Got it. So it's gonna be right. like this. Yeah, and then the this. And then the actual post will be in a foot and a half. I think I get it. <laughs> 
these guys don't go all the way up like that. They're gonna be um, almost three feet well, tall, minus ten, minus twelve, then five eight slowly. Why the heck this thing moved? Okay. Um, so it's still have a distance. I don't know what that distance is. Let me see if I can get it. Um, but you get the point, right? That's the goal. Yeah. Like, like now. Yeah, so it, was, it was three feet tall, right? So it was 36. But now these guys do have to align with this edge on that direction. But on this direction, that's how it is. See it? Yeah. No. Well, because the, the code the code says we can I can can leave a foot and a half off of, of a drop beam. Yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah, it should it should be okay, mm -hmm. unless they change change it. They change a lot of stuff in the code book. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. No, no, you're good. You got it. It's true. <laughs> New three by three wood post. I don't think it will be three by three. That's not a six, thing. Six by six. <laughs> I always, I always just yeah. <laughs> but you could do four by four. I always do six by six because well, how many how many um how many ply am I doing it? Yeah, you're right. You, I think that's that that will work because you sit in this this. Uh, yeah, line, maybe if I'm doing a three ply, that means um, it'll fit on the post a lot better. Plus, I'd rather do three because I never have to worry about it falling down. No, you're good. So this thing needs to go less uh, for four and a half. Uh, one minus a seven. Okay, that's much better. It needs to go up. All right, so then I'm going to call this guy right here. This guy's go down here. I guess it's like three of them that you're going to put, right? Yeah. All right. So, uh, so what do you guys it, call that in industry? Yeah, I call it a drop beam, but it's also called a girder. Yeah, you got it. It's a, you can yeah, a girder might be yeah, a girder is the one that supports the other joists. So yeah, that's okay. that's 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 about right. But is it, is it the same wording, girder drop beam? I like girder better, but. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're good there. I just want to make sure it says PT because it has to all be PT. Yeah. Um. Um. Anything else you want here? Um. Oh, this is what you were talking about that you don't want to be nudging onto. Something. Nudging. Yeah. Mm. So that think... that's why I do the, that's why I do the drop beam because with the drop beam, I'm able to uh, connect with hurricane clubs. It's, you know, the kind of, it's kind of this what you want. Like this guy, it's like that. And then the joists are actually, you know what? Can't leave it past, can't leave it past that. So, you know, that's that's why I'm able to can lever on all three sides of the beam, you know, on each end going in towards each other. And then on the obviously on the um on the rim joist, I can I can can lever in more. I think I know what you want to do. Uh let me see how I can fix that real quick. How uh, can be it's kind of like uh, you know uh, mm. right. technically these guys will have to go up that doesn't work so um, I just got it I have to make some edits in here. I don't know if I really want to mess with it too much right now, but I get your point though. And this should be yeah. uh, this should be two by twelves. That shouldn't say inches. Like that. That's actually not right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you you're gonna have to redesign both of those, right? Mm-hmm. I don't wanna do that. So I either hide them, not do them. 
<laughs> or <laughs> yeah, I can just take it out and I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but um, because these are like Joyce Hong off of the beam, basically. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fix it. Okay. You know, I don't have to actually move them a lot. I just have to move them enough that we know it's cantilevered. So I'm gonna just move it a little bit like that. And then this guy is only probably going to be two. Yeah, so you, you want me to double the rim joist? Yeah, at least two, I think. Yep. Okay. Right. You have railings right above it. You you have to tie them together. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, and these guys need to go down more. There he is. You get my point. Yeah, man, looks good. Wait, 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 Oh, trust me. I've been fighting something for a while. Myself. Like my voice. Like, I don't sound like that. I sound like an old man. <laughs> I know. That's that's actually how you really sound in reality. So don't think too oh, hard. Really? Ah. Oh, really? Okay, so. Hey, I sound better than Donnie. <laughs> uh, anybody sounds better than Donnie, bro. Come on. <laughs> so these are two by tens. These are there's a six by six post somewhere in here. It's actually longer than that, but. Yeah. And then this guy is gonna be. That's not to write twelve. It's gonna be. I try not to use any four by four posts because in my head, I'm not an engineer, but I'm always thinking about like the customer and then what what would be the best. It's it's the price difference between a four by four post and a six by six post is within margin of error in terms of actual building the deck. So I just use them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is it, right? That's that's the idea. Um, yeah, I could just you know grab a like a middle line from here and say you know one point five. We did only one foot, right? Is that what we did? Yeah. Okay. See, we got it. Sorry. This is kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you see, man, you see it, what I mean? Uh, just, to, just to lead it. I mean, we don't even need that anymore, do we? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, the four plan shows it, so it should be fine. Oh, come on. I, I deleted <laughs> everything. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, you got it. You got it. Here it is. You got it. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, so like, so if I if I throw you off a deck, you know, in the future, I mean, I think I have like four or five. Yeah, it looks good. Four or five already coming in. <clears throat> to to me, that just that makes the most sense. Um, no, 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 no. I agree with you. So no, we're, no we're... notching, no point of failure, because usually when we notch, um. You know, we can fit, you know, a, a one two by 10 or two by 12 notch into a six by six post, but then we have to bolt it together. So we reduce the structural, the structural integrity of that post, right? Mm -hmm. By notching it. I don't know. I'm not a notch guy. So I guess that's what I'm saying. No, I agree with you. I had a project with the problem was that they notched. So that, that was the problem. They notched and that, that created an issue and they had to redo the whole thing. So we're good. Jeremy, I'm sending this over to you right now. Uh, as a PDF, nothing else changes other than that. So I'll send, it. It over, I'll send it over right now. And sorry again for the delay on that. Um, we're getting better. We're working on it. And, you know, it's just 
things just let owners know that things are taking a little while that things do take a little while little by little you know absolutely all right Thank I've, you. I've been trying to do my best with that um do you want to meet next week um, <laughs> bless you um why don't you let me know how you're feeling next week <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 no, i'm not sick anymore it's just my throat recovering from being sick because i was okay. coughing so much so i'm not sick i'm not contagious or anything mm -hmm. um next week i'm pretty open uh, there, there's just a bunch of things i want to talk to you about like one being well, well you want to do a meeting uh at my office at 9 a.m on on uh wednesday yeah i can do that all right it's just a lot. Of, there's a lot of questions that I have. No, it's okay. I, I'm looking for education from you to help me get you into the door. Or for, I know that sounds weird, but for instance, a basement remodel where, where, where the heating system is, you know, certain heights that we can work with, stuff like that. I need a little bit more guidance on because I can read it online and um, I understand for the most part, but you're the designer and I will like... Um, you to hear what I say and then, you know, kind of coach me into what I, we could actually do. I'll give you a scenario of past customers, um, basements and stuff like that, you know, just stuff like that. Sounds good. No worries. I just put you in. So we're good. Take it cool, easy, man. bro. I'll send this over right now within the minute. All right. You're the man. Right. I appreciate it.